Gentlemen, how are you doing today? Good. Great. Thank Fantastic. You. Congratulations Thank on you. the movie. I genuinely, genuinely mean this. I had such a blast with it. Oh, good. I, I believe you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Obviously, we have to talk about the island of Ireland, where yes. you filmed a lot of this. Uh, aside from, you know, actually filming it there, did you get to do anything fun while you were we on the island did. of Ireland? We did. On, we... the, on the weekends, yeah. I mean, we both lived very close to the coast, and uh, my family was there. And it was like the perfect getaway when we weren't shooting just to walk along the coastline and embrace the natural beauty and the people who are so incredibly generous and kind and special in their own way. We um, discovered a, um, a rentable sauna uh, that they would bring out to the beach. It was up far north and we drove up there and you drive your car right out onto the sand and you get in this 200 degree Fahrenheit box and then you run into the 50 degree Fahrenheit ocean and uh, it was quite a thing. Who needs coffee? Yeah. Right? That. <laughs> <laughs> so I've seen it twice now and specifically watching it the second time there was something I was keeping an eye out for because I was like is that an action is it a proper callback? So there's something in the first Dungeons and Dragons movie the Jeremy Irons one people refer to it as the custard carpet where they walk into what looks like a carpet and it, they, they sink into it and in this there is a similar scene where Chris and Michelle got caught up yeah. in. Is that a legitimate kind of nod or is that Certainly completely accidental? not a nod to the movie because I only watched it once when it came out right. never, 20 I, some years I've ago. I've never seen it actually. Um, but <laughs> they were probably, <laughs> what they were probably going for was transmute rock, which is a spell that our characters sink into the floor. I don't know how true to the lore they were in that movie. I mm. I can't really speak to it. That's okay. <laughs> but I it was not intentionally <laughs> no. a callback to that okay. movie. Okay. All right. Because it, they, when I watched the old one again, I, I noticed that like similarity and I was like, is that like a an interesting little Easter egg? Just a nod no. back. But no, and that's... Do you watch the old one a lot? No. No, no, no. It was just research for this, and uh, got it. And now that's done. That part of my life. You is did over. more research than we did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to see it. <laughs> okay, so this is a very funny movie, and the action is really, really good. Thank you. Uh, the performances are great. I, the cast is is eclectic and and genuinely fantastically well picked for their roles. But it is based on on a game, and yeah. historically, they tend not to do super well. And we had the older movie, which obviously yeah. didn't do super well. Initially, when this was pitched to you, was there any trepidation about Yes, no, oh, yeah. no. no we had great skepticism. Um, I think that there's a large portion of the audience that sees a title like Dungeons and Dragons, sees a medieval setting and says, that's not for me. Certainly mm -hmm. Hugh Grant, when he looked at the title page of the script, <laughs> it wasn't until he opened it that I think he was convinced that, you know, we weren't going for this um, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> can we say piece of shit? Oh, you, you okay. can. Oh, good. We're it's Irish, it's fine. Right. 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 But we, in a way, saw that as a challenge. Maybe we'll live to regret it, but hopefully we won't. <laughs> The no, we'll of, never of, regret of, it. You know, creating a fantasy film that was different from anything you've seen, at least yeah. in 30 years. Um, one that had a sense of humor, but was not mocking the genre. Yeah. It wasn't a spoof. The other thing that kind of came to mind, um, and it, it might be slightly different, was, do you remember John Carter, the movie? Yes. By the time that arrived, it felt like it had already been kind of picked clean by other movies of the same genre. Mm -hmm. And... Fantastically, in this, watching this on the big screen, it didn't feel the same way, even though Dungeons and Dragons is quite an old kind of intellectual yeah, mm -hmm. property. Right. And other properties have actually kind of borrowed. You can see even from the Avengers, you can see it sure. from Game of Thrones. But it doesn't feel like it's rehashing anything that other movies have kind of beaten it to. Mm -hmm. Was that a concern, knowing how old it is, but um, bringing it into a fresher audience? It wasn't a concern so much as... Um we were always motivated to not play into the conventions and make something that is predictable or expected. That's not w how we want to spend four years of our lives doing. You know, we, we weren't, it was not this sort of cynical approach to filmmaking that we un regrettably see a lot in these big budget films where it just feels like a money grab with no real heart or soul or intention behind it. And so for us, if we were gonna if we were gonna make a Dungeons and Dragons movie, we had to we knew we had to make it as good as we possibly could. And and that means just telling a story that feels unique and original and something that speaks to the child in us. Uh, that you know, when we first 
when I first watched Jurassic Park, it's a very similar feeling as a kid where it just blew me away and made me want to become a filmmaker. And partly was because it had characters that you could really get behind. The story was simple but effective. And technically speaking, it utilized so many different technologies. Like it used uh, practical effects and digital effects in a way that hadn't been done before. And the other thing I'd say is that the very conventions that you talk about are fodder for us to subvert expectations. The more the audience goes in thinking they know what this is, the more fun we can have with uh, surprising them. It, like a pet off, there's there, there, even, even the little moments with Jonathan, and it turns out how that was initially going to end, I was like, that's great. I, just little bits <laughs> like that, I was like, I love that. Uh, and speak, you, you mentioned like the, the mix of practical and uh, tech, uh, CGI and technology and stuff. Mm -hmm. I loved the, it felt more practical, felt a lot more in screen mm -hmm, while yeah. I was watching it. I, I'm not maybe savvy enough to know where the, yeah. the, the sure. line was blurred, but someone asked me what was the action like, and I said, aside from the big stuff, it felt a bit like a family-friendly John Wick, where the <laughs> fight scenes were yeah. perfectly choreographed, yeah. but like detailed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Were they fun to do, and who yeah. out of the cast is, let's not say Tom Cruise, but mm -hmm. aiming to be Tom Cruise in yeah. terms of, I'm gonna do everything. Well, you know, we, we always like to shoot action in a way where you can really see what's happening and wider shots without quick cuts, and that requires more of the actors or their stunt team. Um, and so I would say Reggae Jean Page probably had to do the most actual learning of move because he has that elaborate yeah. sword Weeks fight of scene. training. Um, he really pulled it off, and, I mean, a and, lot of that is him. Yeah, it's funny that you mention uh, John Wick too, because I think that drew influence from Jackie Chan movies and martial arts films that utilized wider lenses uh, and, and performers that actually had to know their stuff to be able to pull it off. And that was definitely a mandate for us. We, we have a real aversion to tight shots with quick cuts where you have no idea what's going on. I, What's the point of a sequence if that's the way you're going to shoot it? We also, a la Jackie Chan, we love using the environment and tools in the environment. John Wick does that too. And but finding the humor in it too. Absolutely, absolutely. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so yeah. much. This ends now.